Well, for all the talk that this caucus cycle seems to have gotten off to a much slower start than the 2008 Iowa caucus cycle, that all seemed to end on Monday, which seemed and, and, and sort of felt as if it was the unofficial kickoff to the 2012 Iowa caucus cycle. Uh, two of the uh, preeminent conservative organizations in the state of Iowa each held presidential events. The family leader led things off with Texas Congressman Ron Paul in the second of their monthly presidential lecture series. Minnesota Governor, former Minnesota Governor Tim Pawlenty, led things off in February. Uh, current Minnesota Congresswoman Michelle Bachman is slated to go next month. So you had Ron Paul travailing the state with Bob Vanderplatz over at the family leader. And then on Monday evening, um, a, a national audience uh, was privy to an event held by the Iowa Faith and Freedom Coalition, and that's the former Iowa Christian Alliance. This was a, an event held at uh, Point of Grace Church in Waukee that Fox News uh, gave the nation uh, a bird's eye view look at uh, that featured several uh, potential presidential candidates. The aforementioned Palenti was there. Uh, the headliner, however, former House Speaker Newt Gingrich, clearly he was the lead dog in that particular room of four or five candidates, uh, Rick Santorum, former Pennsylvania senator, included as well. So March 7th appears to be the day that we, we seem to have finally kicked off the 2012 Iowa caucus campaign, which is why I want to start a new program here at SteveDace.com in accordance with the unofficial kickoff to the caucus cycle. It's our own sort of, I guess we'd call it a, a voter abstinence program, if you will. We're going to title it True Love Waits. And, and this is where we are urging you. We are going to urge those of you watching this that plan on participating in the Iowa caucuses. We are going to urge you to hold out. Hold out giving away that most intimate aspect of your citizenship called the vote. Hold out giving that to the candidate of your choice until you know you have found the right one. A, a real relationship. Not the voter equivalent of a one-night stand. Not the voter equivalent of a fling. You're not here just to give it away. Instead, you know what? These candidates have got to prove that they are willing to make that kind of commitment to you to be the kind of leader that this country needs after the last four years of Barack Obama and the last four of the previous eight years of George W. Bush. We need someone who will shake up the system, who is strong in their own personal moral character, but then also has the right philosophy to nullify and repeal what the Obama regime has attempted to do these last few years. And one thing I can promise you is this. We're not going to find that person if all of us are in a hurry to give our votes away and get emotionally attached to these candidates and make it about personalities and not about issues between now and February the 6th. Like any negotiation, the longer you hold out, the longer the one with the leverage holds out, the better the deal they will get. Such is the case here with the Iowa caucuses. You, the voter, have the leverage in this relationship. The longer you hold out, the more likely it is that he's going to put that ring on your finger. Remember, as your mama used to tell you, he ain't going to buy the cow if you give the milk away for free. That's true of the dating scene, and it's also true of your candidates. Do not be in a hurry to give your vote away. Hold out for as long as you can. Or as John Houseman used to say on those famous TV commercials, make them earn it. This is Steve Dace for SteveDace.com.